afternoon everybody um i'm back doing another pour i'm gonna do another piggy um i love doing these things <laughs> hopefully people like them and want to buy them um, i'm kind of doing this one more of a masculine color scheme i think um sticking with the greens reds and a blue i might want to go with another blue because i only got the one yeah, green, red, blue, silver, and black. Um, so that's kind of the color scheme I'm going to do. And we'll see how it goes from there. Oops. I'm in a different place, so my space to do my creations is a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm kind of, you'll have to work with me here. Um, I have a 16 by 20 canvas that I'm gonna be pouring on with the piggy. I hope everybody's getting ready for holidays. I know it's coming up upon us pretty quickly. Um, all the colors that I'm using, um, I just put in a berry, um, a black, holiday green, um, this is, it says True Blue. I've got some metallics in here that I'll be putting in. Oh, that one looks like it's got a boogie in it. Um, I got metallic silver. This is the metallic silver glitter. I got a black glitter I'll be putting in. I will probably try to fill this cup up to go over that 16 canvas. Um, this is a sour apple. I never thought I'd really like this color, but I'm really, really liking it. I've done it on a couple of uh, ornaments, and I actually love this color. It's so much prettier than I thought it would be. This is a true red. Um, this, I think, is just a turquoise blue. This is back when I first started and I wasn't labeling my colors. This is metallic silver. these I might just have to open up and pour in they might have they've been sitting for about a week two weeks because I haven't painted in a little bit might have to actually just pour some in there instead of doing the spout I'll have to remember that one's not on. This is a black glitter. It goes in looking white with the black, but it dries clear with just the black glitter on it. Okay, go back to my red or my berry color. This is one of my favorite colors. Sour apple. Like I said, I kind of want to make this more neutral. Gender neutral on it. Instead, all I'm doing is getting paint all over my hand. Let's 
do some more black because I didn't put very much black on there. And I hate it when it does that and then you look in there and there's nothing blocking it. Okay. That should be plenty of paint for this painting. move all these back into my little tray down here so they're not in the way let's say I do like my little tray that I just got which is very nice okay so like I said it is a 16 by 20 And I've already cleaned the piggy. I used alcohol um, to wipe it down, make sure there's no oils or anything like that on her. Um, picked it up at Hobby Lobby, as you can see. So I just place it right in the middle or wherever I want it. And then I will do what they call like a tree ring pour, which is kind of like in a circular motion. I just go around it and make sure I do get into the center. I will try to do this left-handed so that way you guys can see it better because I cannot get my camera any, any closer. And I'm going to go this way. Okay. There, I got all the way around there. So far, the color scheme is very, very pretty. Here come a couple of the greens. sure I get over all the ears and stuff. Oh, that is so pretty already. Okay. I'm going to go Yes, I am touching it, but that will not hurt it. Due to the fact that it is still dripping, it will continue to drip for quite some time. I haven't even used half a cup of paint. Let's turn this around. Oh, see? Glad I turned it around. I missed him's whole butt. over that because I don't want that all black back there. There. So pretty. 
and the reds turned pink with the colors, but that's okay. You can see underneath it. I'm just kind of touching it just to make sure all the gaps under there are covered. But like I said, it'll continue to go down and drip, so it won't hurt anything for me to actually touch it because it'll continue to drip down, so it'll go down. Um, looks like every bit of them is covered. Let me make sure get underbelly up here. And, okay, so what I'm going to do now is lift him up and put him over here so that way he has time to actually pour down. I think when I do another one, I will not put any red in it. That way it's not got the pink colors because even though I think he's gorgeous, Somebody that doesn't like the color pink might not like him. So yes, I'm going to touch him, but like I said, he will continue to drip and my fingerprints will disappear. You can't even tell that I did it. Okay. Now, I don't know if I already have enough paint on there because I still have a half a cup of paint. So I'm going to do a little bit of paint in the center of this, the tree ring pour. Put that there. I lift this up and work it around to cover the canvas. I will say the colors on here are gorgeous. That green in the middle is stunning. Should have probably done a little bit more paint because it's not flowing as smoothly, but hindsight's always foresight. If you're wondering, I'm trying to keep the shape in the middle because I just, I love that right there. It's still beautiful. You can see the glitter in there from the crystal glitter. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down this way. You can see that uh, sour apple color. Oh God, I like that color anymore. It's so pretty. It's such a unique color. It's almost an iridescent, but it's not. to get one of the corners now. You know what, before I do that, let me uh, one, dispose of these gloves. And um, I didn't put my parchment paper down. That way I can, because I uh, plan on doing another painting after this one. I got a couple more statues I want to do. This way, I can just take it right onto that parchment paper. I 
That is so cool. I love that color. If you're wondering, I'm just using the paint that's on the paper to help spread it. As you can see, it starts to move faster when it hits the wet canvas right here. That is so cool. Trying to keep my hand down so you guys can see it better right here. Okay. Ship this around so you guys can see this side go. I'm just going to tip it straight over. See the whole thing flowing down. That is so cool to watch that. And there it goes. Can you guys see it? I can see it on my end. Just about to go right there. There it goes. Yep. Let's see, we'll tip it that way and get it to go over that corner. Yeah, I should have used a little bit more paint, but hey. Just to make it flow a little bit faster. That's all right. Ah. Set this way. That looks so cool. Yeah, you guys can see it. All that pink right here. Now the pink right here spreading out. That is awesome. Oh my God, I love it. Might have taken a little bit of a while to spread, but man, that is beautiful. It's just about to finish up that corner. Oh, that is phenomenal. Oh, I don't know if I want to keep that as painting. I plan on taking this one and liquitexing it and making it into a coffee mugs but now mm, 
All right, let me bring you guys in for a close-up. Sorry, I guess I put it down where y'all couldn't see it. Um, let me pause you, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up of both of them. Well, as close as I get on the piggy. And I'll move on to my next set. All right, give me a minute. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. Here is the painting. I am loving it. Like I said, it's a 16 by 20. I will get it set up on the props over there and let it dry. I am in love with these colors. Even though I did try to make it more masculine, they still kind of turned out more pinkish. I think that's the berry color in it, but it's still one of my favorites. And that sour apple, which is like that greenish color right there. Oh, that, I love that right there, those colors. Okay, and here's Monsieur Piggy. It'll take about, it'll only take about two or three days to fully dry, but I hope you can see him. Because I was doing that without seeing what I was doing. Look at that green. Oh, isn't that adorable? But, um, I'll let them sit for at least probably a week to two weeks before I resin them. And then, uh, they'll sit for probably another week-ish before I even think about taking them anywhere to sell. So, yeah. I've got another one I just finished that I've got to resin him yet he's been sitting for a week and a half two weeks I got to resin him now so all right I just want to say thank you guys for going with me on this little journey and please comment like and share um, any questions don't hesitate to ask and I will do my utmost best to answer as best I can thank you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all on the flip side bye